Few cars have captured the interest of my readers like the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet. They're always sending me images and pictures and tweets of Murano Cross Cabriolets spotted on the road. So about a year ago, I asked Nissan for a Murano Cross Cabriolet press car to review. And they told me they didn't have any, which I kind of thought was PR speak for, we don't want you to make fun of our car. Well, sorry, Nissan. Before I dive into a review, I want to explain what the Murano Cross Cabriolet is and what it isn't. What it is is an SUV convertible, just as comfortable off the pavement as it is driving to the beach. What it isn't is very good. One major reason the Murano Cross Cabriolet isn't very good is its pricing. When this thing came out back in 2011, it cost $47,190. $47,190. For that money, you could buy a BMW. It was designed to be a combination of a fun, enjoyable convertible and a practical sport utility vehicle. But what it ended up being was just a vehicle. One major issue is rear legroom. Namely, there isn't much. And there's even less with the top up. Fortunately, there is one big benefit to being in the back seat. Inexplicably, rear seat passengers have full access to front seat controls, which means you can move the driver forward and backward, up and down, which is great if you want him to have an accident. And then there's another problem, trunk space. Namely, there isn't any. I mean, yeah, sure, there's some, but not enough for four adults on a weekend getaway. Maybe just enough for a personal effect, like a phone charger. $47,190. You could buy a manatee. Another problem is the Murano Cross Cabriolet's driving experience. Namely, it wasn't very good. Here's the problem. You buy a convertible because you want it to be cool and exciting and fun to drive. But the Murano Cross Cabriolet added 250 pounds to the standard Murano, which wasn't exactly a speed demon. Slow. And then there's the issue of handling. The Murano Cross Cabriolet is a bit ponderous, which is to say that you turn the wheel and the Murano Cross Cabriolet ponders where it's going to go. And let's not forget body roll, which is a bit of an issue. That's because the Murano Cross Cabriolet has the structural rigidity of an earthworm. Structural rigidity is so bad that the windshield shakes when you go over any bump, any rock, any painted road line. $47,190. You could buy a train! So the Murano Cross Cabriolet isn't a very good SUV, and it also isn't a very good convertible. But are there other redeeming qualities? No! We'll start with styling. In order to make the Murano a convertible, Nissan had to redesign the vehicle in a large meeting of engineers, stylists, and marketers, which presumably took place over the phone. The result is this oddly shaped, strangely proportioned SU vertible, which looks like nothing else on the road. Thankfully, for everyone else on the road. And then there's the issue of the doors. In order to make the Murano into a convertible, Nissan had to remove the two rear doors, much like Chrysler did when they made a convertible out of the highly celebrated PT Cruiser. Unfortunately, in doing so, Nissan made the front door 7.9 inches longer than it is on the standard Murano, which makes it a little bit challenging in some situations. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. And then there's my personal favorite thing about the Murano Cross Cabriolet. Visibility. 
it has none. Now, with the top up, the Murano Cross Cabriolet has the same problems as most convertibles. It's hard to see anything. So Nissan decided to fit not one, but two windows in the back to help you. Unfortunately, they don't help. One window points up at the trees, the other up at the sky. Neither window points to traffic. Now, you might think things are a little better with the top down, but you're wrong. Because the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet is an SUV convertible, the rear deck is so high that you can barely see anything when you're backing up. $47,190. You could buy a rural congressional seat. So the Murano Cross Cabriolet isn't a very good convertible. And it isn't a very good SUV. And it isn't a very good car. So what's my verdict? I love it. In today's modern world of boring sedans and boring coupes and boring SUVs, the Murano Cross Cabriolet stands out. Kudos to Nissan for building it, and kudos to all 19 Murano Cross Cabriolet owners for buying it.